Western Nebraska Senator gets his way, Millard North, along with every other public school in Nebraska, will be forced to display the phrase, in God we trust, somewhere easy to see in the school. Now, the inspiration for all of this came after many county courthouses throughout the state did something similar. Just last month, the words, in God we trust, were displayed inside the Cass County Courthouse, one of many Nebraska counties to do so. Barbado of O'Neill led that charge. Now she's working with State Senator Steve Erdman to put that phrase on the wall of every public school in Nebraska. It's our uh, national motto, simply that. You know, it's been on our currency since, eight, since 1863. So everybody has that motto in their pocket in their billfold. They carry it with them every day. Should be no surprise, there's opposition. There are some who are concerned about the idea of prominently displaying the word God in a public school. Minister of Spiritual Formation at Wildwood Christian Church, Robin Ziegenfuss, agrees with the motto, but is reluctant to put it in schools. I teach with Christian principles in that sense. I don't proselytize. And so to put a motto in a classroom, uh, in God we trust, uh, I don't necessarily think is a bad thing. I'm, I'm not convinced a motto like that would would help our cause. I called Senator Erdman. He told me he didn't propose the bill to spread Christianity in schools. Instead, it's about showing patriotism. And that's what Otto says as well. If you're going to live in this country, then you have allegiance to this country. It was founded on those Christian values. Sigenfuss is a former teacher. He's still a substitute, in fact, in the Papillion School District. He says it could put teachers in awkward positions when asked about Christianity by students. And I would hate to say, well, the, the state made us put that up, so that's why it's there. Uh, I'm not sure that helps anybody. Now we will find out soon if Senator Erdman's bill has any legs, as the Education Committee plans to hold a hearing on it tomorrow. In Omaha, John Kipper, 3 News Now.